What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Gilberto Ramirez versus Unieski Gonzalez, and this was a 12 rounder in the light heavyweight division. And this fight was Saturday, December 18th, from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. And this fight was broadcasted on the zone. And in this fight, Gilberto Ramirez was able to get a 10th round stoppage victory over Unieski Gonzalez. Leading up to the stoppage, I had the bout scored 88 to 82 in favor of Gilberto Ramirez. And so just to list some memorable, memorable moments in this fight. So in the third round, it really started to take action in this fight. Like a lot of action happened um, earlier in the round. Gilberto Ramirez um, was sort of caught in a headlock from Unieski Gonzalez. And he, Unieski Gonzalez held it for too long. And for some reason, the referee like took away a point. I didn't even know if that was the reason, but I think that was it. Um, but yeah, I, I, think, I don't think the referee should have taken away a point. He should have definitely warned him as opposed to... Just going right there to take away a point. But, um, yeah, later in that round, both of them were exchanging. Both of them were throwing punches, backing each other up. It was a crazy round. Both hitting each other. Both landing power shots. It was just a very fun round to watch. Then, um, later on, um, Gilberto Ramirez was able to hurt... Um, um, Unieski Gonzalez in the fourth round with a beautiful straight left, backed him up and wobbled him. Then later on that round, when Gonzalez was hurt, he was just throwing punches while he was out on his feet, and he was just not even going down. He was staying up, getting hit, um, throwing punches of his own, actually hitting Ramirez. It was just a crazy fight. Multiple exchanges in that round, even though Unieski Gonzalez was basically out on his feet from those combinations from uh, Zerto Ramirez. Then... In the fifth round, I mean, both were still exchanging again, and um, Gonzalez was actually wobbled a bit with some nice combinations from Gilberto Ramirez. Then in round number seven, actually, um, Ramirez was backed up a bit with a beautiful, perfectly placed left hand right on the chin. He sort of took an awkward um, step and got buckled a bit, but then he sort of recovered and landed some nice shots for the, towards the end of the round. But then from there on, or also in the seventh round, there was a huge headbutt where um, Unieski Gonzalez's head just sort of clashed into um, Ramirez's chin, and it was even harder than like a normal right hand. And for some reason, um, I don't know how, Ramirez took it like nothing and continued, because that was one of the hardest headbutts I've ever seen in my time of watching boxing. But um, yeah, after that, I mean, all the rounds were pretty similar, except maybe... Um, Maybe round eight, I guess you could say. No, you know, actually, you know, maybe round eight and nine. I mean, they were pretty similar, actually. Um, Ramirez was really just coming forward, landing some more nice shots, kind of backing up um, Unieski Gonzalez more, and it looked like he was trying to get that stoppage more, and as opposed to being more patient. Even though this fight, I mean, both fighters were throwing a lot of punches. I mean, Gonz or Ramirez started to be a bit more slow, as opposed to, like, in round number four and five. So... Yeah, th then on he started to become um, throwing more accurate shots and perfectly placed shots, like one straight right to the body, one straight right to the head, as opposed to those flurries that he was landing early on. But still, it worked well because in the 10th round, he was able to stop Unieski Gonzalez, got him up against the ropes, landed a left hand, followed by another combination leading to the referee waving it off. So with that being said, what is next for Gilberto Ramirez? I mean, there's just one fight I would like to see him in. I, I I'm just going to say just one fight for this one. Um... I think he should fight Dimitri Bivol, considering that this was um, for a WBA light heavyweight title eliminator, and Gilberto Ramirez won it, so he should probably fight either someone highly ranked in the WBA or um, Dimitri Bivol for the WBA light heavyweight title. And yeah, just to mention before, I forgot to mention that um, in the beginning of the video that this was for a WBA eliminator. But as for Unieski Gonzalez, um, losing for the fourth time in his career, second by knockout, um, he's, I believe, like 37 years old, 38 years old, maybe 39 years old, something like that, somewhere in his late 30s, I believe so. So I honestly don't know what's next for him. It's either retirement or he's going to fight someone in the top 25, top 30 in the light heavyweight division, or even just a lower level opponent, or someone at the level of like the last two opponents he fought, like Alex Tehran and Tommy Carpensi. So I honestly don't really know exactly what's probably going to be next for him. So overall, Gilberto Ramirez defeats Unieski Gonzalez by stoppage in the 10th round to win the WBA light heavyweight world title eliminator. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.